2015 marks the first year that KTM has produced a 250 SXF factory edition. This machine is new from the ground up, including the chassis, engine, and suspension. Changes are focused on mass centralization, weight savings, improved handling, and of course, more power. Now the new engine is not only more powerful, it's 2.4 pounds lighter and smaller. The clutch has been raised 26.9 millimeters and moved back 11.1 millimeters. The crank was moved up 6 millimeters and the connecting rod is now 6 millimeters shorter. A new clutch basket improves oil flow and the clutch now uses seven plates instead of eight. A new key and 44 millimeter throttle body uses a direct connect cable design without a linkage to improve throttle response. The 40 millimeter shorter muffler with new mounting points moves the muffler 60 millimeters closer to the center of the bike. The all new chromoly frame is lighter, featuring increased torsional rigidity and decreased longitudinal stiffness. A new smaller subframe is also 250 grams lighter, contributing to the overall 7 pound weight savings. The WP4CS forks received revised damping settings, while the WP shock is all new, lighter, and overall 12 millimeters shorter. Rubber mounted handlebars reduce vibration and add to the overall front end comfort. The new lower triple clamp is designed with more flex for improved handling. Sitting on the new 250SXF Factory Edition is completely different than sitting on the standard 250SXF. The seat position is 10 millimeters lower, and the handlebar position is 10 millimeters lower as well. And the foot pegs are now mounted 5 millimeters back and 4 millimeters down. If all the changes to the 250SXF Factory Edition sound like the changes to the 450SXF, they should. The two bikes are nearly identical, and the only difference is the cradle of the frames, designed slightly differently to hold the different displacement engines. The suspension is only different in the way of spring rates and valving. The 250 Factory Edition engine loves to rev, especially with a 14,000 RPM rev limiter. The harder and faster you ride it, the happier it is. It still pulls pretty hard off the bottom, but just doesn't have the same hit as the other 250Fs down low. The 250 Factory Edition has a balanced feel that contributes to the cornering characteristics. The shock and linkage changes keep the bike hooked up during acceleration, even in choppy terrain. The WP4CS fork still exhibits a bit of the previous mid-stroke harshness, but it is improved. Like the 450, the new 250SXF Factory Edition corners amazing. Choose an inside line, carve a deep rut, or blast a berm. The 250 does it all with ease and confidence. This is currently the lightest production 250F, even with an electric start. That lightness creates a machine that is ultra flickable, and quick direction changes feel more like you're riding a 125 than a 250F. After our day of riding, we can't wait for the 2016 KTM SXF models, which no doubt will be almost identical to these factory editions.